my creative friends and welcome to another episode of The Daily Prompt. This is the optional personal vlog, the optional viewing personal vlog entry for uh, me. As I go through this process uh, once a week on Sundays, I am vlogging my experience with it right now since we're still here. Um, it's basically just me <laughs> talking to camera. Um, eventually, this will probably be more of a vlog out in the world. Anyway, that's the idea. That's the hope. That is um, kind of what I want to talk about today as well. Uh, so here we are at the end of week seven. Seven weeks now of daily vlogging. Um, and it's... Uh, it's fascinating. Um, so <laughs> last week, I know I got a bit pondery and a bit... Uh, Frustrated, wistful, I don't know. I can't I can't remember. I don't go back and watch these, um, the personal blog entries at least, because um, they're really just recording where I'm at at the moment. Um, so one of the... One of the challenges... I, here's the thing. Uh, there, I thought three things would happen when I started vlogging this, this process. Number one, I thought this vlog, going along this journey, would uh, spread more. I thought that if people were watching this and enjoying this, they would share it. And I thought, I thought, I didn't, you know, this is never going to be a viral thing. This is a very specific screen. Screenwriting is a very specific sort of niche uh, industry. Not many people do it. Not many people think you can do it. Not many people know about doing it. Uh, in the in the sort of broader uh, mainstream, I did I did think that we would be that our numbers would grow and they're not growing at the moment. So it makes me wonder if you know I, when I watch back the videos that I'm doing, um, which I do more to make sure that there's that I'm not sort of duplicating content or or you know going over the same thing a hundred times. Um, <clears throat> The when I go back over and I look at it, I think this is good. this is so necessary. This is so valuable. I'm I'm putting out there the best uh, ideas in this way, and it's not sort of catching on. Uh, so there's that. Now, now the problem with that is simply that it the plan for it <laughs> was to quickly evolve past this and quickly get out there into the world and be making something with uh, volunteers, with people who were interested. So one of, one of two things has to happen. Uh, either people have to get excited and volunteer and, and jump on board and really do it. And to be honest with you, at this point, um, uh, I've had probably two or three volunteers that, ha that are continuing to, to sort of help out. And then there's sort of this array of volunteers <laughs> that are uh, that that started out volunteering and then sort of faded away um, which is fine which is I, I'm not in any way um, disparaging those people volunteering to help out on something like this you know you're 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 offering your time and so uh, I know that time is valuable and time is limited and uh but the the problem i guess is is either we have volunteers helping to expand this thing uh or or i pay to expand this thing hire people to expand this thing and to hire people requires people to join me in fast um to for volunteers to help out they can be a part of sort of the bigger picture without ever joining fast or and joining fast the, but one way or another, there needs to be more people involved in helping me build and expand this thing. And so I think the, I think the, I think what I'm, what I've gotten frustrated about, uh, is, is, and I'm not feeling as frustrated today as I was last week. It, it's more a question of the workload is, is big. The workload is immense. What I'm trying to do is a, is a very large thing. And it's one thing for, I guess, people, for writers to go, yes, I'm in. I'm excited. You know, I, I, I look back at the comments on the very first sort of teaser episode, which is like what we're going to be doing with this when I said introducing the, the, the daily prompt. And there's all these comments on there from people who are like, I'm in. This is awesome. Fantastic. And then you never see those names again. 
or people who start off strong and then sort of fade away as time goes on, which, you know, I totally get. I understand um, the, the realities of all this uh, are different to the dream, the fantasy of it. And, you know, a lot of people get excited by the fantasy of it. They get excited by the dream of it then they're not willing to sort of go the hard yards and actually put in the effort and, and, and make it real. That's where the challenge is. That's where everybody falls away. <laughs> That's why there's no competition because everybody falls away because there is reality to this. There is um, the challenge aspect of this. And so um, I guess I guess where I'm at is I'm thinking I'm, I, if volunteers aren't joining in a way that it can be used, a lot of people are reaching out and saying, Hey, I'd like to help out. What can I do? And it's like, well, yeah, I mean, I need very specific things right now. We need to build and expand the social media. We need to get this going. If we need, I need people in LA who can help me build this show. Um, it's, it's a lot right now about this because this is what we need in order to attract the larger audience, um, in order to bring people in to do the to do the other stuff. Uh, so, I'm <clears throat> I'm more crushed on time than I thought I would be. I knew it would be a lot more a lot of time required, but building an Instagram following right you don't just have to create the content which is like pulling clips from the from this series creating a little micro content finding other i'm quickly realizing it's going to be a very boring instagram feed if it's all the same thing over and over and over for <laughs> thousands of posts uh, which is what the series could generate ultimately um, but creating other content is, is there's a lot to it it's, it's a sort of big and challenging thing to do then building the audience it involves engaging with people it involves liking people's stuff and reading people's comments and and interacting with people on dm and all these things that just take time and so that's fine i've i've committed to it and i'm going to build it uh, but learning things like how the hashtags work and all this, just it's just there's a lot, right? So so doing this show, uh, putting these episodes together, digitizing, putting them online, it's just it takes a lot of time. And so pulling the content, creating the audiences, building and and, and spreading that word. I think it's social media marketing, and it's and it's 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 hard for everyone. It's there's just a lot of work involved for everyone. The the difference I thought for this initially was that. If writers grasp what I'm trying to do here, uh, if they grasp the opportunity available to them here, then how would they not jump in? Like, how how is it not a little bit more um, fire? You know, how is it more? How is it not a little bit more? Um, uh, attractive is it me maybe it's me maybe it's my message maybe it's my presentation maybe it's what I look like maybe it's this maybe it's the long nature of the videos uh, the daily maybe people just don't have time to consume it and then therefore it's too big a mountain to consume <clears throat> and uh, and I don't know and, I, and there's there's not really a way to know because the people who don't comment you never, you never know what they're thinking. The people that do comment, you know what you're thinking. Those of you that comment, you are my heroes. I appreciate it. Continue to do so if, if you're so inclined. If at some point you fade away and you're no longer interested and you stop commenting, well, then I'll know that things took a turn at that point. Um, uh, whether it's with me or with you, I, I might not necessarily know, but uh, but I'll at least it'll at least give me data points with which to sort of try to identify how to improve. <clears throat> so. What I would love to do, what I would love to be able to do is to hire people. I would love to be able to, uh, you know, find a local videographer, uh, somebody who, who can do this whole show and just call them up and say, what's your rate? I want to do this thing daily. It's probably going to take about three, four hours of your day each day. Um, you know, we're going to start simple. Um, how much? And then just pay that. The, the... I could possibly make that happen, but that's not bootstrapping. That's not starting from nothing, right? Um, I don't know if I could make that. I could make that happen for for a short period of time. I don't know that the only way for it to be sustainable over a long period of time is if 
is if it is sort of self-replenishing, right? So if if a if let's say if a videographer came on board and charged me, I don't I don't even know a uh, thousand bucks a week. I don't know five hundred bucks a week. I, I don't know because I don't know what I don't know. I'll, um, <laughs> I would love to find people who are hungry and enthusiastic and 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 volunteer. Here's the thing: if people if I'm hiring people to do the videography for this, right? Uh, then they're a hired gun, right? There's there's less in, there's less emotional buy-in from them. There's less connection with the big picture of what I'm building. So, uh, as a hired gun, you know, when it comes time to make the movies, you know, I, there's no, there's not going to be any loyalty to a hired gun. If there's someone who's enthusiastic and keen and interested and ready to sort of jump in there and volunteer and help out, and I'm going to help give this guy everything because I see what he's trying to build then of course I'm going to create a bond with that person. That person would then go on to make, to probably make the films. And I say probably only as a hedge, only because you just never know what's going to happen. And you know, my, my, anyone who knows me, anyone who's been around fast screen flight for, uh, you know, any of the length of time or longer than that knows that I'm here to help the people that help me. So it's not, I will always do what's in, <laughs> what's in, what is there to help? There's a there's one writer specifically I'm thinking of now uh, who saw what this was at the beginning, jumped on board, has offered to help with uh, social media stuff, continues to offer to help, is actually going through the the system, is actually like I don't think I don't know if this person realizes it or fully appreciates it, but I'm going to make that person's film. Like that's that th when that person buys into that to what I'm trying to build of course I want to to help that person uh the the person who I'm co-writing this first film with a lot a lot of from my own ideas but I'm bouncing back and forth this person was in the writer's room person got super busy uh, life gets in the way not really participating in the writer's room at the moment um, but that person has done a whole, like, has done so much for me over the years, has drawn animations, has, has, you know, within some of the earlier videos, has, has just helped out. I am, I am committed to making a film with that writer. I'm committed to it. Uh, even if that writer sort of falls off the wagon or falls away, I'm committed to it because of what I have, the value that I have received from that person. It's that... It's that give and take. It's that um, synergy that that I thought would really drive this series. I thought by putting this out there and, and painting this picture and showing and and giving uh, detail and like at this point we're forty eight nine episodes into this thing. I have given the overview. I have mapped out the thesis. I have I have presented way more than I think people fully appreciate or than the, than the regular viewers perhaps appreciate. I think people who are doing fast possibly appreciate it more because they have more context from having from what they've done in fast. but still it's it's just such a big beast that it's really hard to get your head around. There's no I, I, I'm I'm I from this week I'm, I'm basically committed to shrinking the size of these uh, of these daily prompts simply because I'm chewing up too much of the writer's time, uh, your time. Well, <laughs> I'm making this for me, but anyone who's snuck in and is watching right now, uh, you know, and, and, and I don't want to take up your time because I want you to put your time into your, your work. Ultimately, the more you do that, the more likely, the more possibility there is that we can make something at some point down the road. Um, However, I need, I feel like each episode I could keep going for another 20 minutes and to, to, to flesh things out more, to give more detail, to give more context. The, the beast is so big. The picture is so massive that it like I, I've done all this so far just in this series. And I feel like, you know, we haven't fully scratched the surface trying to trying to get to the 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 nuances of it the detail of it uh it's still there's there's still so much more to paint and 
and, and my and my 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 feeling on the whole thing is that is that I I had this idea that when I would start doing this, it'd probably take a month or two months or three months, and it'd just slowly start to build. And at a certain point, there would be perhaps a, a tipping point where uh, people jump in, where people uh, where um, volunteers say, this is happening, I get it, I can see it, I'm going to participate in it. Maybe that's still coming. Maybe it, Maybe I'm just in that, you know, I've put nearly two months worth of work into this thing now. I'm exhausted. I see nothing but work ahead of me. Oh my God, is this ever going to work? And, you know, that's, writers go through that, the whole, like, that's that's part of what writers go through as well. That's part of what you go through in fast screenplay because it's like, uh, you know, the, the writers who do persist are like, my God, I've been working on this for a while. Um, and it's just like, yeah, that's the nature of the beast. So anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment is, is just not knowing necessarily if the, um, not knowing how to bridge that, I guess, because my plan, and this has been my, this has been one of my frustrations since I began teaching screenwriting, is that my plan for the next steps, in some cases, in, in pretty much every way, really, relies on the earlier step working. So rolling back uh, a number of years, I, you know, when I started teaching screenplays, to, when I started st teaching screenwriting in, in Sydney, and I created these these workshops, and I, you know, I attempted to, to get writers to write stuff that I could produce, you know, it, it was a means to an end. It was like, let's teach these writers. Let's then go out and make some films. And then writers don't follow through. And it's like, well, now I'm stuck teaching screenwriting. Now I'm st stuck trying to teach more writers and more writers and more writers. And that's ultimately why, you know, I spent six, five, six, seven years uh, teaching live workshops. And then just when I can't keep doing this, uh, let me build an online system where I don't have to go out and physically be there each weekend teaching new writers who are 95% of them are not going to actually follow through. I'm going to build a system. And then that way people can go through it. 95% might not follow through, but the 5% that do, I'm not, I'm, you know, it frees up my time to focus on making films. The problem is then you can't attract writers or the writers don't follow through. And you don't get to the point where you where, where you have the end result, and it's like a lot of what I feel like I'm waiting for is is the other person to to see what's here, to hook into it, and to sort of pull it in and and take it and and run with it. And <clears throat> so, um, the the pragmatist in me, the realist, the the person who's been doing this for twenty years, who understands well and knows fully that that is just a dream, that that is not going to happen, <laughs> goes, okay, so so what do I need to do? How do I need to adapt? How do I need to change what I'm doing to, to get to where I'm trying to go? So the, So, for example, should I pull back on this show and focus more on my movie because ultimately until i make the movie people are like i try to put myself in the in the viewers in the, in the non-commenting viewers mindset and think if they're watching me and sort of put myself in a suspicious mode and think i don't know who this guy is he, he's saying good stuff but yeah okay you know show me or like what are his films what, what has he done um there's not a lot to show for it yeah, right. Um, <laughs> so almost in a way, I need to make the film in order to to prove that I know what I'm doing or that at the very least, we can tell an interesting and engaging story. Um, and it's just, so I want that to happen sooner. <laughs> um, so the question then becomes, should, the, to, should this vlog be just scrap all this stuff for the time being. I, I put it out there. It's there. Enjoy. Go back and rewatch. Because I guarantee you, anyone who rewatches this whole thing from the beginning gets something new every single time they do that. Every time. Because each time you understand more. So then you're then you're viewing it with a greater understanding. 
same that's how fast was designed as well was to do precise that's why fast makes success inevitable why writers don't follow through and grasp that is frustrating but frustrating not it's more in a i'm not i'm not frustrated like ah, it's more like i'm I, I i need to know how i need to understand how to adapt i because part of me thinks there maybe there's just not enough people that want to do this in the first place or maybe there are people out there that would want to do this but that don't have a clue that they'd want to do this how do i reach those people i don't know i don't i, I have no idea it's the it's the you know, when I was teaching screenwriting in Sydney and, and, you know, I'd fly to Melbourne to do a workshop and I'd talk to a cab driver and the cab driver would say, uh, what are you in town for? And I said, oh, I'm here to, to run a workshop. I, I teach screenwriting. And they'd like, what are you, what are you talking about? I, was, I uh, teach people how to write movies. And they'd be, <laughs> they would say, what do you mean write movies? Like people just didn't even know what what I was talking about. I feel like I'm in the same situation now where it's like, even, even now people don't think it's possible. People don't think it's real. People don't think they can do it. It's, I don't know how to, I don't know how to overcome that. I don't know how to bridge. I don't know how to bridge that uh, lead by example, tr you know, build the, build the film studio. Uh, but it's like, it's, it's a chicken and egg. You, I, I need that to exist in order to attract people into that because th this, who am I, is like, isn't, is, isn't yet. But is it, is it not yet because I suck at social media or social media marketing? Or is it not yet because of the, of the in intrinsic message of the thing or just the, the enormity of the thing? I, I don't know. And it's a really, uh, it's the same problem I have faced for 20 years. It's exactly the same problem, <laughs> only now it keeps hitting me in the head every single day because I'm doing a daily vlog about it. Um, so I'm almost certainly, I think I'm going to at least experiment with, uh, on the daily vlog, doing a different day of the week theme. Um, I talked about this in the previous, or one of the previous ones, uh, just merely because I want to, I want to... <clears throat> I don't want to crap on about stuff. I, 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 it's not that I'm crapping on. I, just, I don't want to. I don't want to chew up 20, 25 minutes, sometimes close to half an hour of of your the writer's time, um, like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I, I don't want to chew up that much time, and then lead into a prompt. I'm, it's it's like it's like this compulsion to teach. This stuff, so the writers will know the stuff. So writers will, damn it, do this stuff. But in the process, you know, taking away and undercutting a lot of uh, the other thing. Eh, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I built fast screen place so that I wouldn't have to be doing this stuff, so that I could be spoken, spending all my time going out and making films, and that writers would just go through and churn out stuff that we can then make. Not every writer, lots of writers will go through the system. And go, they go, want to go write something else for somebody else. Cool. But every so often, you know, find those writers that are aligned with me naturally and want to write stuff that I want to make. And, you know, we, we make like it. <laughs> I feel like I solved these problems already. Uh, I just don't know how to, I don't know how to, I don't know how to make writers understand that I've solved these problems. And it's, uh, it's, 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how to put it. I don't know what to, I don't know how to, anyway, that's okay. So that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, so I, I still need volunteers. I still need help. I still need uh, people to join, to be able to pay for those things in the absence of volunteers. Um, more than happy to just have the volunteers. I, having the volunteers is what makes it totally okay if people don't join fast. But if we don't have the volunteers, then we need people to join fast so that we can pay the people to do that. In the absence of that, I have to continue doing this my, myself as a, as a solo, uh, which gets in the way of the time to make the movie, um, which 
possibly delays when that's going to happen, which then further exacerbates the problem because then it's, you know, people are like, well, you said you were going to shoot something in June. You know, it's like, yeah, but I also didn't think I was going to have to, like, that nobody else was going to be interested in <laughs> jumping on this show. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's where I'm at at the moment. At the end of week seven. Um, um, uh, so, so what I'm probably going to do is over the next sort of, uh, probably this coming week, I would say, I'll probably start tomorrow, uh, is just divvy up the days. And um, we're going to have a Q&A day. So if anybody has any questions about anything, it can be about this stuff if you want to, uh, but about story, about the business, about whatever. Um, and then as we start asking, as people start asking questions and I answer those questions, hopefully that'll lead to more questions. Because um, the weird thing is that everybody thinks they know how to do this. And so few people are doing this successfully that clearly there's more to it than you think. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's sort of where I'm at. Um, I am, however, despite all that stuff that I just said, uh, I am, however, so excited about what story machinations have come up this week. I literally have had probably a grand total of about an hour, hour and a half to think about the story that we're actually going to be making. <laughs> um, I, w I would love to invert that. I would love to spend an hour and a half on this stuff uh, and spend all the rest of my time uh, just on making that stuff. But there are the practical realities of, of just making it work. And, uh, and so if you're a writer and you're watching all this, <laughs> I, I got to end this with some sort of prompt for you. Um, if you're frustrated at how long it's taking in your career... It's just the nature of the beast. And we've got to persist regardless. You know, there's no quitting here. There's no, there's no, well, it's too hard. Let's stop. At the end of the day, I'm making movies. We're going to do it um, one way or another, even if I have to do absolutely everything myself. Even if I have to act in the stupid thing. And as a result, it's really crappy because I'm very out of, uh, <laughs> out of uh, tune with that um but one way or another it's entirely doable so it's just a matter of doing it it's it, it's just that i'm i don't know how to convince writers that they're but this is a win-win jump on board man <laughs> it's like <laughs> anyway um so for you, take the day off or <laughs> don't work, work, whatever you want to do. Um, but, uh, but understand that this is, a, there's infinite opportunity here, literally infinite. The hardest thing that you're going to face is getting other people excited about your work. This is the same, I'm, I'm having the same problem in a different way that, than writers have. You know, you write something, you're super excited about it. You know that if everybody just read it, they would love it and they would be a part of it. Uh, but nobody does, right? How do you get that to happen? It's about figuring out, I can't, this is my problem. I'm defining my problem. How do we overcome this problem? I don't yet know. So we're going to do another week of daily vlogging ahead <laughs> to see if it will start to shed some light on it. We're going to start moving in a little bit of different direction, try to shorten some of the episodes themselves, um, try to make day of the week themes, um, see if that works. And if it does, cool. If it doesn't, we may adapt again at some point in the next week or two. So we'll see how we go. Anyway, that's uh, that's the personal vlog entry. My apologies for being a long-winded uh, person. <laughs> We're going to try to trim that down. Um, but thank you for watching. Take action. And we'll see you tomorrow.